Hey, this is Dave Babbitt with Burke Equipment Company. We're about to get into part three of our Kubota SCL 1000 walk around, which is the track system. But let you guys know there's a lot of features and a lot of information on the Kubota SCL 1000, so we really had to break it up into four parts. Hopefully, you can go back and view our first two parts. Part one would have been operator comfort, part two was the vertical lift boom arm. We're about to get into part three of the track system, and part four is going to be maintenance. So, let's get into the track system. Dave Babbitt with Burke Equipment Company again. In this segment, we're going to go ahead and talk about the SCL 1000 under track carriage or the track system. And I couldn't find a better way to do it than to put it next to our Kubota SVL 65 sitting here because there's a lot of features, really nice features that are in the Kubota SVL lineup that Kubota has engineered into the small SCL 1000. So, one of the things that I noticed right away when I'm looking at this is the open under track carriage design. Uh, same thing as you can see on the SVL 65 over there, it's open and angled. And when you get back to the SC, uh, SCL 1000, open and angled. Well, what does that do? That's going to shed dirt and debris and keep this machine, it's almost self cleaning, and keep this machine nice and clean. And when you actually go to clean the machine, it's a lot less of a headache. It's really important to clean a track system. A lot of customers, maybe they're used to a rubber tire system. Maybe it's their first track loader. Uh, there's a lot of maintenance involved with tracks. There's a lot of moving parts. You've got rollers, you've got sprockets, you've got drive motors and idlers, right? So keeping those clean, the worst enemy of a track system would be dirt and debris. It's real gritty, gets in there, starts eating away at the roller. Especially, I've seen a lot of times where there's packed in mud, the customer may not have cleaned it for a long time. And maybe it sits, sits on a uh, flat shelf right here and, uh, or gets packed behind the drive motor, it works its way into a seal and then you have a bad drive motor. Uh, with the Kubota systems on both the big track loaders and the mini loader, you can see it's very easy to clean. There's a lot of room inside of here when you go to uh, power wash this machine. So again, less dirt, you're gonna, your components are going to last a lot longer, and you're going to be much happier with this type of system. A um, couple other things on here that are very similar to the SVL series. So when you're looking at an SVL series, you're going to see dual idler system, and then you're going to see a single idler system. So here's your idlers. Single idler in the back, dual idler in the front. We come to the SCL 1000, dual idlers, and a single idler. Why does Kubota do that? They've, they've been doing this since 2009 on their very first uh, track loader, which was the SVL 75. Uh, dual idler system, what that does, they're big idlers. They're wider, so it creates more stability. Most of the load goes into the front of the machine, whether you're digging or you're lifting. Um, you want this machine to be nice and stable, so the dual idler system accomplishes that. Well, why don't we put a dual idler here? Well, we, why do we want a single idler? Single idlers are better in the rear because this single idler goes up in between these teeth and that keeps the track from detracking. Okay, so you'd be really hard pressed to find a lot of the SVL series and, and any complaints about detracking. It really just doesn't happen a whole lot. And that's the reason. The other reason for a single idler is this machine moves around and pivots much easier on a single idler in the rear. So maneuverability, less detracking, up front here, dual idler system, much more stability and strength. So I think that's superior uh, and I love the fact that they put that into this little mini track loader. You'll also notice there's five rollers on this. There's four rollers on that. There's five rollers on this, uh, SCL 1000. So five rollers, you're going to get a lot of track to ground contact and a lot more stability and a lot smoother rides. So five rollers. The other thing is there's no maintenance to the rollers. They're dual flange rollers and there's no grease fittings. They get an oil bath. You don't have to worry about it. That's really kind of the same thing as our SVL series as well. Uh, so you'll find that these components, just like on the SVL, last a long time. And 
you know, you'll get a lot of hours of use out of these components. So they did, did a great job with that. You notice this big beefy sprocket up here? It's a high mounted sprocket. Now, I'm not saying Kubota is the only one with that in a mini loader, but they did, they did put it in here. Same thing as the uh, SVL. So it keeps it up out of the dirt and sheds mud and dirt really well. So, you know, another big boy feature right there. The tensioning, so that's, that's one of the huge feature on this, track tensioning. Most manufacturers for the mini loader market in this segment, you've got to adjust your tracks, you've got to get tools out. Um, and I've done this, and, I, and, and any of you out there that may own some of these uh, other machines that might compete with Kubota have had to tension their tracks. You'll find a lot of dirt gets caught up in there. Sometimes they rust, it's a threaded nut and it can be a bear to adjust your tracks. This system here takes the larger construction system route, uh, construction machines like the SVL series or our mini excavators or you know even larger machines than that and it's a grease fitting system right here so greasable tension. Now I didn't open this up but it does show it in the brochure. All you got to do is just loosen this up, loosen that up, the door pops up, there's a grease fitting in there. Give it a couple shots of grease. That's going to tension the track. And there's also a relief fitting in there, just like the SVL, and you can take grease out. Now, one thing it w I, I think is that the grease, greasable tensioning system holds the tension better than the adjustable system. So it holds it better. That's just my opinion. It also is much easier uh, to do, no tools. So again, we love the fact that they put that greasable tensioning system in this track system. So again, you have the dual idlers, the single idler, the big beefy sprocket up high, easy to clean system. And what about the tracks themselves? Okay, these tracks, this is what, what I call multi-rib track. Some customers call it, or some customers call it something different. Uh, you can. You have many different patterns of tracks on track loaders. You'll look over here and you'll see a full lug system over on the Kubota SVL. There are C pattern lugs, there's H pattern lugs. There's a lot of different patterns of tracks. I like the multi-rib on a little, a small little mini loader more than I do a lug track. Uh, there's reasons that they have lug tracks on big heavy loaders because these big heavy loaders are uh, going you know they're loading triaxles they're going out on pavement all the time they are heavy machines so they need these big thick pads when you're talking about a light machine with 4.0 psi pressure i mean that's very low psi pounds per square inch uh, so the ground pressure is minimal on this machine what's really important this multi-rib system here does really well on turf I like it, it gives a little bite, does really well on turf. I think it does a little bit better probably than a full lug system. Again, that's my opinion, but for our guys up north with snow, this track is five, uh, by far superior, uh, you know, if you're gonna go ahead and push snow. Now again, you can get any type of tracks that you want on larger loaders. You just have to ask your dealer. They make many different patterns, but Again, we like the fact that they put this multi-rib track, which we think is more suited to a mini loader than a lug track. So we do like that. Now, this track system also is an integrated track system. It's welded on, just like the SVL series here. And Kubota has found out a way, this is, a, this is really uh, new to the market, found a way to get a wide track with a lot of flotation on into this machine to where it's under 36 inches wide. So the market usually when you have a wide track would be 42 inches wide for this size machine. Usually it's about 42 inches. Well, 36 inches, you know, there's gates that are 36 inches. We have some other uh, market segments like uh, demolition. Maybe they need to get through doorways. 
You know, of course, that may call for a machine that's a narrow track or 36 inch. So most manufacturers accomplish that. They will, you either have a wide track machine that you have to buy or a narrow track. A lot of those manufacturers, you have to get one or the other. You can't swap the tracks out. Kubota accomplishes both here. So you get the benefits of a, well, a smaller machine to get through your 36 inch openings. And then you get the benefits of a wide track with a flotation. So you have a lot of stability on this machine and that is what uh, this track system accomplishes and what's new to the market. So a lot of new things to the market on this. Dual idler, single idler, greasable track tensioning. There are some that are out there, but the fact that we have this design from Kubota that allows you to maneuver through tight areas and still get that flotation I mean, uh, you know, that's unbelievable. So you guys will love that. Um, if, if, again, I try to find some flaws with the machine uh, and the track system, but I really, it's, it's just kind of hard to when you're comparatively speaking against other track loaders. And, you know, this design that Kubota has come up with, uh, you know, I, I think you're going to be really uh, pleasantly surprised with and happy. This is Dave Babbitt with Burke Equipment Company again. Hopefully you enjoyed the information that was in that video and you got enough information to decide whether the Kubota SCL1000 is the right choice for you. You can visit us at BurkeEquipment.com. Visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and like us. You can also visit one of our Delaware tax-free stores in Del Mar, Delaware, Belton, Delaware, and Newark, Delaware. Or just give us a call and be sure to view our playlist on YouTube for not only the SCL 1000 video, but more videos to come. Thank you.